Deb and Rex for art here and today I felt like jelly plating and I thought I would use some inexpensive items from the dollar store and um, thrift stores. So I found these um, actually fly swatters. So these are new. I didn't use them on any flies but I just um, I cut off the, um, well I removed the end and then I cut off this part that sticks up. And you have two different patterns of flowers so we'll use those. Um, I found these um, plastic beads um, for $2.50, wedding pearl ribbon, so I thought I would um, glue some to a cardboard. Later is I attached it to a roller I had just using some elastic. Um, it would probably be better to glue it to something more permanent so that the edge doesn't stick up because I think I, you know, you could nick your jelly plate with that. So that was kind of fun. Uh, this wasn't from the dollar store, but I did find it at a um, thrift shop. And then it had various placemats that had really cool patterns. Um, this one was a new one to me. Um, these other ones I've had for a while. So uh, this is just a plasticky type of thing. Uh, this is a plastic lace uh, placemat that it was actually quite big. I cut it in half and I gave half to friends because this was big enough for my jelly plate. Uh, this is one of my favorite placemats to use. I love to use this quite a bit. Um, this is a dish rack, the drainer for dish rack. And if you use this side, you get these little dots, but if you use the other side, it's more flat. So that's what I use today, and it's plastic and soft. Uh, another placemat. Uh, this was just some packaging from something. I don't even remember what it was from, um, but I thought that gave a neat pattern. Um, some other things I used today were these uh, stamps I made with fun foam. I've got quite a few different ones, so I used some die cuts of some fun foam from different dies I have, and then you just glue it onto some fun foam. I put a little handle on them, and again, like a pot holder, I think. These are um, for cross stitch or something like that from Michaels. Uh, again, this was a big one. I cut it in half, gave half to a friend, so that's an expensive shelf liner. That's another inexpensive way to go. And um, this is some kids fun foam that I got at the dollar store that had some interesting textures. So that's easy to use. Um, leftover um, roll from the uh, scotch tape. And little from our little poop bags from our dog. Just some little circles from that. So there's an endless um, possibility of, of inexpensive items you can use. I mean, you can use um, nice stencils, those work great, but sometimes it's fun just to use inexpensive items. So that's what we're gonna do today, and I hope you have fun. Um, I've sped up a lot of the video, and I've cut out a lot of the drawing time, um, just so you don't have to sit through all that. And at the end, I do a close-up of each um, end print. So I decided to do a lot of jelly printing in my composition book. I did glue each page. I glued two pages together, so it was nice when I did one page. The other side was still uh, not too wet, um, and I think I got that idea from the Journal Artista. Another um, fun thing I did in this video is I did use this uh, golden iridescent bronze paint, and you'll see me spritzing something. It's just water that I'm spritzing, and um, Kathy Arbor showed that, that you get a nice, sort of separates into this um, bluey color so we did that a bit and i think that's everything i wanted to mention before um, the video so i hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching
Yeah.